Hey there everyone, this is my first YouTube video and I'm going to show y'all how to enable mobile coin payments on the Signal app for an iPhone. First, you're going to open up the Signal app and head to your settings page. To do that, you're going to click on the top left icon with your initials and once you're in the settings page, if you're on the most up-to-date version of Signal, you should see the Payments feature right under Link Devices. If you don't see the Payments right there, I reckon you ain't running on the most up-to-date version of Signal. To check on what version of Signal you're running, click on the Help tab right there. You need to be running on at least 5.26. If you have anything before 5.26, then you need to go to the App Store and download or update the latest version of Signal. Once you've done that, go back to your settings page and you should see that payments option right under link devices like I said earlier. Realize that right next to payments, notice it says beta in all uppercase letters. I would not recommend that you store large amounts of mobile coin on the Signal mobile coin wallet right now. Anyways, click on the payments. And this page just has a bunch of information about mobile coin or adding funds and Basically, if you want to send money or receive money from an exchange or another mobile coin wallet, you can click on these links and they should give you that information. You have two buttons on the main page here. You have Activate Payments and Restore Payments. The Restore button is really only for people who have already activated a mobile coin wallet that is associated with their signal pin. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, just ignore that button. That button's for people basically who have maybe lost a phone or maybe they got a new phone. It's, it's just ignore it for now. Click on activate payments and here you can read through your mobile coin terms on your own time. I've read through them several times. I understand the risk associated with this. I just click activate. And let's just go through a couple things here. Notice to add funds, you click on that plus sign. This is mainly if you have mobile coin on another wallet or another exchange and you want to add funds to your signal wallet. You can either scan the code right there or you can copy your mobile coin wallet address and send it to wherever you're sending it from. Send it to your other wallet. On the top right corner, you see those three dots. Click on that and you have a bunch of different options. Transfer to an exchange. That is just if you have mobile coin already on your mobile coin wallet in Signal. You can either send it to an exchange like FTX or uh, Mixin or, or you can send it to another mobile coin wallet like the desktop wallet. Let's go back. Currency conversion. That's if you just want to see your mobile coin denominated in your local currency. I believe that Mobile coin or signal runs through some sort of engine, some sort of price engine on FTX or something, and that's how they get the market price. Deactivate payments. Deactivate payments just allows you to deactivate the mobile coin payment feature from signal. So if you don't like mobile coin or if you don't want to use that feature, either do not activate it, or if you accidentally already activated it, just deactivate it and pretend that it's not there and now you have signal as if it was before they integrated with mobile coin no big deal recovery phrase this one's real important click on that 
And when your some are private and safe, you're going to open that up and you're going to write these words down somewhere on a piece of paper and store them somewhere like in a safe or something. These 24 words are like basically the master password to your mobile coin wallet. If anybody gets a hold of these words in this particular order, they will have access to your mobile coin wallet. I cannot emphasize this enough. You need to make sure that you keep these 24 words safe. All right? And that's about it. Send payment buttons, how you send mobile coin to either other signal users or other people who have the mobile coin wallet. Click on that. That's how you send mobile coin to other signal users or other people who have mobile coin wallet. Click on somebody who has that payments feature enabled. Now you can send whatever amount of mob you have to those people. First, you need to get some mob, which I do not currently have. Pretty straightforward. I'll make another video sending money or receiving funds and all that. Uh, but for this one, this is just how to basically enable the payments feature on mobile coin. Hope you all learned something. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to leave them in the comments below.